minutes here showing you how I handle glass and post. Um, here I have a simple window. I have everything on the default zero layer except for the glass. The glass I put on its own layer. I use a plugin called PSD Manager. So here in Effects, PSD Manager, it's turned on. I have the layer, gl glass layer enabled, and I have it being saved out as a PSD file. So now when I render this out, it'll create two masks. I'm sorry, one mask. So all I have is one enabled, which is the glass. So here in Photoshop, I have scene layers, and there's that glass layer. Control, select it, and um, so now I can paste things into this layer. So I have a couple images here. I have an interior, uh, exterior looking inside of some curtains, so I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And then I'm going to paste that into this scene. I'm going to uh, distort it to fit approximately in that space. I'm going to select that layer, control, click, activate that layer, and put a mask on it. And then I'm going to unlink it, select that part, now I can freely move that within my glass area. I'm going to do the same thing with some trees. Select A, or Control A, select all, Control C, copy the clipboard. Control V, paste that. Control T, I want to scale it down just so I get some clouds and some trees, some negative space and some trees. A little more, I'm going to I think I lost it there. That looks pretty good. Again, I'm going to copy that mask. Control, click, activate that, mask it in, unlock it, pick the first thumb there, and move it around. I'm going to drop that mask accept it, duplicate that layer just to give it a, 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 a more bold look, play with some blending modes, and then uh, so that's generally how I handle my, my reflections.